Hi, baby, I'm Rachel Luke, I'm a pro makeup artist, and let's give it up. Let's give it up to Drugstore. They have really, yeah, really stepped up their game recently. I think they're realizing all the money that is in this beauty business, and they're like, okay, they're getting their head out of their wazoo, and they're making products that I actually love. I won't lie, I used to be a makeup snob. I used to only shop at Sephora. I'd only get the high-end products because here's what would happen. I'd want a high-end product that was like, say, $40. I'd go to the drugstore and try to find stuff that's similar. I end up buying 10 different products from the drugstore that I didn't like, that didn't work for me, that amounted to the same price as if I had just gotten the luxury one in the first place. So I stopped doing that. I'm like, I'm done with this. I'm done with the drugstore. But that was back in the day. Recently, they've stepped it up. They're making good makeup accessible for everybody, and I am so incredibly excited. This video was a request from my TikTok comments, so if you have any more video requests, please comment them down below or comment them on my TikToks or my Instagram. I'm reading everybody's things, and please hit subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. And hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video, aka all the eye shapes, they are coming. Almond Youth is so very soon. Get excited. So without further ado, here is my I feel pretty makeup. <laughs> okay, let's get the Ariana Grande pieces out of the way. Boom. Don't even just stop. This, this, if you have dry skin, is this stuff is amazing. It is super duper, uber, 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 uber thick. So just putting that out there. But <clears throat> for under makeup, oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it gets really sticky and tacky. It makes a perfect texture for your makeup. Sometimes I don't even prime, but because I'm just trying to get in all my favorites, I'm going to show you my favorite drugstore primer. Ah. I know. So I just grab a little bit. I hate my nails. I just want to say this right now. This is my least favorite color ever. Every time I see it, it makes me want to vomit. I just take a small amount like that. And this is a trick I learned from TikTok is to press... To press and push, press and push, press and push it into the skin. And this is really what's going to help minimize those pores. Every time I use this on my clients, I go, wow. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to do a step for my brows. I do this second because it gets a little messy. I'm using the got to be glue thing and a spoolie brush. I just put it on here like this. If you don't have a spoolie brush, just use an mas old mascara wand. Clean it off. Boom, spoolie brush. Haha. <laughs> so basically, I like run it through... Okay, and I'm not looking for a super soap brow look because honestly, I don't think it looks good. Okay, I said it. Okay, when they're super like all brushed up, I think it just looks kind of strange. Instead of normal soap brows of like pushing them way up, I go like this. You see that? It's a, it's a, it's a this motion. Up and to the left and then this side, it's an up and to the right. To the right, to the right, to the left, to the left. So then when the brow is kind of like this at the end, then I take the tip and I go. And I go. I don't know if you can see, but sometimes it kind of leaves little crusties. So, ew. I take a. Uh, I take a uh, little cotton pad. This is why I do this before foundation. And I just clean around because even if you think you don't have to, then you put on your foundation and oh, wow, it looks like you got dead skin flaking off. But really, it's just this stuff. So this isn't for the faint of heart, but my eyebrows do not move. And when I'm trying to get a particular shape, I need something like that. All right. So my favorite drugstore foundation. I don't really like drugstore foundation. I think that's something that you can splurge on. I think that's something that maybe you could spend a little bit more money on for me in particular because a lot, I'm allergic to something in, in a lot of concealers and foundations um, that makes my eyes water, my nose water, makes me feel like I'm sick. Most foundations and concealers, period, do this to me, but drugstore, it's like a wash. They all do that for me. But this stuff, this is my second favorite, the NYX Total Control Drops. <gasps> now, let me tell you a little story about this while I apply it. First of all, there's no stopper. That's my least favorite thing about it. Be careful. You get it on your clothes, you're done. Like I've done many a time. So I'm at the Walgreens buying stuff for this very video. Yes. Okay, so I'm in the makeup section. And this guy comes up to me and he goes, you look like you know your stuff. And I'm like, do I know my stuff? Yeah, I know my stuff. And he goes, um, 
he's going to do a bodybuilding competition and he's going to get really tan in the body and he needs something to tan his face. And I go, okay, you've come to the right person. Let me help you. So now I'm working at the Walgreens basically. So I take him over to the next section and I show him this. Because you know why? It's very beginner friendly. It's so very thin. And watch this. You see how easily it's just blending out? Now I'll warn you, it's a little oily. Actually, it's really oily. It's basically oil and it separates in the bottle too. But I find that it blends super easy. And it's just like a beautiful little tint on the skin. You can really build up the coverage with this. You can use a brush, you can use a sponge. I just use my fingers because it's just so easy to blend. This is a perfect thing to just throw on, bada bing, bada boom. And he was very thankful. And he made sure to show me all of his bodybuilding pictures. And then I go, okay, thank you, bye. I gotta look for my stuff. It was very strange. So I only did a very light layer because I don't like a lot of foundation. But um, you can see, you can barely even see it on my skin. It's just a really, really nice tint, even or outer, -er, okay? I love that. Now we're going to highlight slash conceal, and oh my god, my absolute favorite. All right, y'all. No one's got it like her. Nobody's got it like her. It's just good. There's nothing wrong with it. She's all reliable. She's your best friend from middle school who still works at the shop down the street. She's safe and comfortable. She hasn't changed since I was 12, and I applaud her for that. I don't use the sponge thing to apply because I don't think sponges are very sanitary. But the formula is really nice. It's, it's very, very buildable. And it's just good. It's just good, okay? I feel like us in the beauty community, we've gotten pretty spoiled. We're asking a product to do a million and one things. You know what? Just work. Just be good. Come on. Brushes too, by the way. The Real Technique brushes that you can get at Target or Ulta, they are the absolute best. And the face kit that comes with the 200 and the 205, you're done. You're done. You're done. No, it's so good. I use this to apply my color and this to blend it out. You're done. You're done. It's so good. Okay, if she's my old friend from middle school that still works at the same shop that she did when she was 17, now this is my new friend, and we're taking a trip to Miami together, okay? This is this girl, Miss LA girl, oh my god. I use this to contour, this is in the shade Toasted. She's exciting, she's surprising, she inspires me to be a better person, and she gives me hope for the future. And watch her blend. Oh wow, look at her. Did you see that? I love it. I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm going here. You don't need a lot of this stuff, okay? Just letting you know. A lot of you ask how I contour my nose, and I feel bad because I really don't do a lot. This is what I do. I take this, and I go, hit you with that. Doo-doo. 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 And then I keep this line very thin. I blend it out with my finger with my ugly, stupid Ikea nails. And then I blend it. Keeping it pretty low down. Boom. Now this trick I learned from the E-girls. Oh, listen to me, I sound like I'm 60. I learned this from the E-girls, those girls that on the E. <laughs> I take a white NYX retractable pencil and I just like... Heck. Hack alert, hack alert. All right, hack alert, hacked, boom. The darker your skin tone is, the more yellow of a tone like this you're gonna wanna use. You're not gonna wanna use white, you're gonna wanna use something more yellow, butter creamy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, then, and then the deeper you go, the warmer you're gonna wanna go. So even an orange pencil. Boo, 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 back to the L. The putty blush, the whole putty collection, who did that? Mr. Putty, Mrs. Putty, thank you, because wow. This is the Elf Putty Blush in Bora Bora. It's so cute and pink. It's very like Kylie Jenner pink. You gotta work it in with your fingers a little bit to get that oil going. It's not too creamy. Like, it's very, it almost like kind of goes to a powder in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but the texture is really, really nice. And it's very buildable. You could make this very sheer or super pigmented, depending on what your vibe is. Is and then swoop. 
I'm going to take that Maybelline concealer on my face brush and just clean up that contour a little bit. I like to go right under the cheekbone, connect to the corner of the mouth. So now I'm just tapping that out because I don't want that line to be too harsh. I'm not going to lie to you. I've never used drugstore powder before. I cannot tell a lie. Okay, but... I went off of the TikTok recommendation and I got the, I'm scared. Honestly, I don't know. So we're, this is going to be a little bit of a first impression. I'm going to tell you this much. I tried. Not my favorite. <laughs> so I'm going to try the Maybelline Fit Me one. Um, I got some nerves in my tummy. I'm a little bit scared. Now, Maybelline, she serves me well in every right, so let's see. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my god. Okay, wait, let me get that shine, shine cam. Shine cam. Shine gone cam. Wow, I was so scared. <gasps> you got to try new things. That's what they'd say. You can't let fear get in your way. Oh, man, I'm happy. Wow, what a beautiful surprise. I'm going to do a little baking right here and right here. Oh, um, if you ever watch my lives on TikTok, I tend to rag on the Laura Mercier powder because it's everyone loves it, and I go, "What's so good about it? I don't really love it, but I use it because I have it and I'm broke." But oh my gosh, this might be better than the Laura Mercier one. I'm gonna scream and shout and let it all out, y'all. I'm excited. When I'm done with my base, I like to give a little spray of a setting spray. I like to layer my setting spray throughout my whole makeup. Usually, I like to do it before I start, but I forgot this time. So, I'm going to take the NYX. I usually get the dewy setting spray, but this time I got the matte one because that oil, those oil control drops are pretty oily. Why did I keep talking? Why did I spray it while I was talking? Like, it's like my finger was a different person. Anyway. All right, we're going back to brows. The NYX Lift and Snatch. I love a good brow marker. Pencils don't stay on for me. All right, I'm gonna show you how I do my brows. I like my eyebrows to go, like, be really straight and almost up, you know, Doja Cat style. So I do that first line, and then I pro as I go up, I start making more lines out, but my lines are getting progressively shorter and shorter. I call it the stairs because, you know, it's like steps up. Do, 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 do. And then I kind of go into the front part and blend up. And then I kind of hit the top a little bit. I hate doing my brows. I, I just do. I hate it. Sorry. Elf Putty's back. Elf Putty is back with yet another banger. And that is their eyeshadow primer. Really work it with your finger. And apply. I love this. This one's in the shade uh, Rose, and it's a really, really pretty base color. I don't think their shade range is exactly perfect, and that is something that they need to work on. I'm going to show you my eyeshadow BFF, okay? We all have one. <sighs> she's old. She's dirty. Ooh. She's dusty, crusty, past her expiration date, but I-D-G-A-F. She has worked for me every day since I got her at Black Friday at Kohl's. And my brother was like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, I don't know which one to choose. I don't know which one to choose. I'm just you. And we've been best friends ever since. And I'm letting you in. <laughs> She's my best friend. And I use her every day. Okay, wow, I'm actually starting to cry. No, but I love her though. Like, she's actually... And I got it at Kohl's, so I'm going to consider a drugstore, okay? I'm sorry, I don't really use actual drugstore eyeshadow because I don't like it. If you're going to splurge an extra $10, boom, I spent an extra $10, and this has lasted me literally like three, four, five years, okay? Ew, I would never do it on a client, but on me, this rose shade, 
It's the perfect base color for me for a nice little mauve look. These eyeshadows though are actually so buttery and nice and they blend super well. Base color is based. Now I'm gonna go into my second favorite shade. Watch how easy my eyeshadow trick is when you really get the hang of it and you start doing it every day. This makes my makeup just go so fast, watch. Boom. Boom. Hello. And then you go back in with that first brush and walk it out. Walk it out. And you could literally, literally stop there. One, two, three. Done. I'm gonna go in with this like bone shade. I like the drama, so I'm going right up to that crease. And I am Ariana-ing that B. So I'm just like packing, 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 and then I just carve that out. I really love to carve. I think this is a nice combination of like the very graphic lines that we're seeing nowadays. And then also that kind of like 60s Ariana type little bit of a little bit of this, little bit of cute. If you know my warm toned shadow trick, then this is the shadow that brought me to that epiphany. Okay, so thank her, Miss Amaretto. As long as it's warm toned, it won't look weird. If you find the eyeshadow under your eyes just looks unexplainably weird, you look like a weird zombie weirdo person, then try warm toned eyeshadow shades. So I put it on my waterline like this and then I go and I really just intensify that first line and then I go wee and I intensify that second line. So now we're getting graphic here. Every time I'm blending, I'm blending up, 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 up to the temple to really snatch and lift. Adding some of that highlighter shade to my brow. Pixie. It's in the drugstore, but drugstore prices? <laughs> so I don't really use Pixie a lot. I got their endless silky br their endless silky eye pen in the shade Brightening Lilac because I just love the color. You'll see. My highlighting hack where I put the highlighter right here, I'll do it with a pencil very thin. Watch this. And how cute is that? This makes me feel like a fairy, a diva, a demon, a damsel in distress, and Dolly Parton. And it gives that very graphic line, but still like 60s butterfly. So I, I like to call it the futuristic butterfly because it looks like a butterfly, but it's very futuristic. <laughs> the name writes itself. Now the real reason why I absolutely love this palette is these shades because when i go under my eye this is what i do boop 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 yeah all of them but these shadows are so pigmented and buttery like you really can't you really can't beat this palette uh, uh, uh. now i'm taking this shimmery lilac shade i'm taking it when it's already on the brush, don't spray it in the palette, but when it's already on the brush, spray, spray. And then apply it. Oh my lord. Oh wow. <gasps> She's from the future. Now I feel pretty. Gel eyeliner is my absolute favorite. The Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. If you're a beginner, you have to get this. I just place my angle brush and shwoop. And then shwoop. And then I use my pinky to drag it out. But seriously, this stuff does not move. And it's really, really easy to work with if you are a beginner with an angled brush. I love the, the L'Oreal Telescopic. I'm almost out of this one. I'm not looking for a lot of volume. I'm looking for more length. 
this is really fun because since the brush is so thin, I can really make my lashes go this way, which really helps lift the face. And then this is really good for your lower lash line because you can just... And it doesn't go everywhere. The NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. NYX really said paint your face. This stuff does not come off. It comes off best with oil, okay? But I'm going to do... This is the one in white. And I'm going to do that viral eye dot trick. Because I think it really adds to that kind of like futuristic butterfly kind of thing I got going on here. Following the line of my pupil dot... Inner corner, dot, outer corner, dot, in line with the pupil, dot. And I think this really makes the eyes look like sparkly. All right, that's it for the eyes. This is my go-to look lately. I think it's very of the times. It plays a lot with lines. It plays a lot with geometric shapes, but still keeping that soft touch. Um, and I absolutely love it. It makes me feel really, really pretty. For lips, the NYX pencils are amazing. They're like $4 and they're absolutely jean yassified. I have the one that's the Pillow Talk, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk dupe in Peekaboo Natural. Is it an exact dupe? No. But is it good enough for like 20 less dollars? Yeah. Okay, this is my gloss hack because every time I wear gloss, I get so annoyed. Like when you overline your lips, you can't be having the gloss like kind of taking the lip liner off and then you're like exposed, okay? The Honest Beauty Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the shade Fruit Punch, but TBH, I have all the shades. Creates such a nice gloss looking sheen without being like too much. Watch. It looks like I'm wearing gloss, but I'm not. It feels just like a lip balm, so it's not going to move around my um, lip liner. And it's very moisturizing, and they have a beautiful shade range. So I don't see people talking about it that much, but I love that. Okay, I feel cute. I feel like a futuristic butterfly, cute little robot girl. <laughs> I feel fun and fresh and free and not broke because everything that I showed you, from the drugstore, really good price, and really, really actually performs really well for me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you try any of these products. Let me know if you don't like any of these products and why. I'd love to hear how the same product performs differently on different skin types, skin tones, textures, etc. So let me know if you don't like anything. Let's gossip. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post my almond eye shape video that's coming super, super soon. Follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I put... I po oh wow okay I post different content on, on all three of them so you're getting a really 360 view of me like I always say all right come on let's stop being dramatic here I hope you have such a good day and I love you okay